Hello, princess. Here I am at Metro Zoo, or Zoo Miami, as they call it. Uh, yeah, I know I keep dating myself. Crack open those ancient history books and you'll see this used to be Metro Zoo. But I'm here because I have this now. Uh, my latest annual pass is to uh, the zoo here, and it's a beautiful day, so came to activate it and see the zoo. Now, actually, you have been here more recently than me, uh, not too long ago. Um, last time I was here was with Sister, and that must have been like, I, I think it was like four or five years ago, but if you were here, you were just a baby. I don't even remember when this was, but we got here super late and only had not even half a day in the park, um, which kind of <laughs> is the same situation today, but now I can come back anytime. So uh, all I have to do is take the pass to the gate, scan it, and I am in, and let's go see the zoo. Well, it looks totally, totally different than what I remember. First thing I'm going to do is check out Nourish 305. I don't know if it just opened, but apparently it's the first indoor dining venue here, and I'm just interested in the menu. Um, just, oh, we'll see. Nice little place. Very cold in there, which is going to uh, come in handy in the summer. It's basically pizza, flatbreads, and flatbread sandwiches. So, yeah, just artisanal pizzas all the way around. And I just, I can't get over how I, I don't recognize anything here. It looks totally different. So today, I am probably just going to take a quick walk around the whole park. Uh, it's about three miles. So I will have probably enough time to do that just to see everything and then I can plan my uh, future missions here and we can do specific things. Although I do want to see the uh, Everglades Expedition or Expedition Everglades, um, the new ride they have. I don't even know what it is, if it's a ride or a simulator. So I'm definitely going to check that out. But well, here we go, off into the park. Well, here's something fun we can all look forward to. Surrey bikes, uh, like they have at the boardwalk. Uh, all day is only $80, so I think uh, that's kind of a fun thing that we can put on our list uh, next time you're here with uh, Mummy and Daddy. Oh, and that's what they look like. Four people, four peddlers. Don't worry, uh, we'll do all the work. All right, this is probably the only thing I remember here at the zoo, and that's the uh, tiger enclosure. This was a really big deal when they opened up. In fact, uh, footage from this uh, enclosure was used to introduce the uh, Tarzan movies on I, Saturday or Sunday that they used to show on Channel 6, I think it was. And um, that was, God, that had to be huh, 30 years ago now. They don't show Tarzan movies anymore, unfortunately.
Okay, we found the ride. It's not called Expedition Everglades. It is Lossman's River Ride. And it's, a, um, it's an upcharge activity. Uh, the price is $5 uh, per ride or five rides for $20. Well, uh, when I come back, I'm gonna ask if they have any uh, discounts or anything like that or if you can uh, maybe add it to your pass or something, that would be uh, kind of awesome. It's not very busy, so I'm gonna do it before I leave the park because it does have a water element and I don't want to walk around wet. But here it is. Lossman's River Ride. Very cool. Now I'm walking by something else that I remember. I think this was the uh, oran orangutan enclosure. I don't see anyone over there and it looks a bit, uh, well, let's just say the vegetation over there is quite healthy. Um, again, I don't see anyone over there, but there are these signs. Um, huh. Maybe an Aska would be good? Or maybe they're just uh, sleeping? I don't know. It's not too hot today, it's about 80 degrees. Well, maybe they'll be out when I come back later. Isn't this beautiful? This is what South Florida used to look like. In fact, it was very much like this around our house when, uh, wow, great grandpa and great grandma bought it all those years ago. And I've seen pictures, I think your mother has them that, um, you know, show what it was like. Uh, a lot of the, the, um, the, uh, I'm thinking of these plants. Oh, palmettos. You know what? I'll have to double check and I'll put it in. Um, maybe had been cleared, but you could see still the Florida pines, you know, all around. And they are something that I want to actually add to the house because we don't have any. But this is what I want to do. Bring it back to uh, real Florida nature. What you just saw was an emu, a rather uh, benign bird from Australia. If uh, Apparently, if they really want something like worth seeing or something special, they need to get a couple of uh, cassowary here. Uh, they are, I guess, I don't know. This is what I've heard on YouTube, so maybe don't believe it, but <laughs> I think they're a bit more aggressive than emu, but those um, would be maybe a little bit more interesting. I went into the koala exhibit, but you can't really see them because the way it's set up, the glass reflects everything on the windows behind it so you can't really see uh the animals in there which is why i didn't get any uh any pictures or um take any shots of the sleeping koala anyway well that was australia i think next stop is amazon and that will be off to the left so off to the amazon we go pumba a little too much magic maybe All right, here we are in the Amazon. I was walking through and they had the various hogs, uh, including the warthog, but they're indigenous mostly to Africa. So I was a little bit confused, but finally made it to the Amazon. And uh, there's the quick service place. And well, maybe, wait, now there's Village Plaza. I don't know if that's in the Amazon, but let's go check it out. All right, I now see the appeal of the Surreys because there is a lot of walking here. I'm not even halfway through. In fact, I think I'm maybe a quarter of the way through and it's not so, it's, it's not so bad. Uh, it's not really hot today, but you can tell if you have uh, 
bunch of gear and kids and other things to haul around, having one of these could be a huge benefit. I might even come one day during the week when it's less crowded, get one of the small ones uh, just to cruise around and see what it's like. I think that would be very, very fun. Okay, I think I found the village. It's a splash area and the bathroom. And this place is crowded with surreys, like uh, Disney is with the strollers. I do feel like I'm only showing you little bits and pieces of things because I actually don't really know where I'm going. I haven't been here in so long that I'm not really sure where everything is. I'm discovering this all again myself, but I promise when I come back, uh, maybe for an event or something, it will be a lot more interesting things. But let's go look at some animals, learn the park, and see what we can do next time, especially when you're here. And there's some bonus wildlife. Now they're everywhere. Here's something I just learned after seeing this sign. The monorail is not included in your admission. I'm, I'm interpreting this as the $5 fee is your all day pass, which means you can ride it as many times as you want, which is nice. I um, wonder if they have like combo packages. Uh, this with uh, the other ride, that would be kind of cool. Of course, what they really should do is include this for pass members, or at least make it available as an add-on. Hmm, I'm gonna ask about that. Maybe I won't ride the monorail today since it is pretty late, but next time. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, you can see all the exhibits from above, but uh, like it says, they are better viewed from the ground. All right, I've made it about a third of the way through the park and that's where I am. But this is where I thought I was going to the Amazon area. And I'm a bit confused as to how I missed that. I think it must have been the, the place where the splash area was. And I just walked right by it thinking it was just the splash area. I didn't see a dining location. Hmm, now to go back or to keep going? Um, you know what, I think I'm going to keep going because it's about 3.30 and that means I have about an hour and a half left here and I want to see as much as I can. But I'll catch it next time. We'll see what's there, definitely, definitely next time. I'm going to continue through Africa and into Asia and then finally uh, Critter Connection. All right, there we are, let's go. We found the uh, Wanakos and hey, there's a bunch of them. He's resting. These two are just checking out what's going on. There's another one way back there watching all of us. And here we have a mold o -matic. I don't know if that's what they've always been called, but that's what they're called here. And this one is a giraffe. I used to love these. They, well, they have them here. Uh, it seems that they definitely have them at the aquarium and they also have them at monkey jungle don't know about anywhere else i don't recall seeing them um anywhere else like at the science museum or anything like that but i think it would be a very fun thing to do one day to travel to all three parks and collect all of the wax molds let's do that i will say though that this park is very lovely the Landscaping, the vegetation, how it's been arranged is very nice with the, the monorail and the exhibits all very well blended in with each other. It's a nice place to spend a day just sort of, uh, I don't know, knowing about Raider Kudu way back there. Wonder if they also have some regular Kudu somewhere. I guess we made it to Africa because of the African elephants. They're way, way back there. Um, one on the left, one on the right. Moving just a little bit. Oh, can you see them? Oh, they're, they're kind of far away. Hopefully when I come back, they will be 
um, up here playing with uh, some of their, um, I don't know what you would call those. Actually, you know what, they might just be to protect the trees. Giraffes! And, oh, there's one right there. Hmm. Well, not the best angle, but at least we can see him. Hello! Oh, here's the rest of them, of course, getting fed. The Grevy Zebras are out enjoying some uh, late lunch or early dinner. Looks like they just got fed. The piles are all nice and, I don't know, fresh looking, I guess? Whatever. Abdim's Stork. Well, there's a bunch of them. Bird I've never heard of. So this is interesting. I think I'll take this opportunity to say that I'm not going in the aviary. As much as I love them, the birds don't seem to um, reciprocate. Well, they do, but in a different way. So yeah, I'm gonna avoid it. Hey, how you doing? Oh, hey there, hi. So I really didn't remember how big this park is. I checked uh, some of the facts yesterday and it did say that the walk around is three miles, but I don't know if that's shortest route, longest route, but it's, um, it's a big park and taking my time because I want to see everything and kind of remember where everything is. But now I don't know if I'm going to have time to see everything. It's fine. I can always come back. I do still want to ride uh, the Lostman's River uh, before I go and find out what the deal with uh, the fair on that is. I'm still over here in Africa, which is essentially at the back of the park. So I have to walk all the way <laughs> back to the front gate again and like through Critter Country and I think uh, one other area. Um, Oh, what was it? it? Wasn't Asia, or was it Asia? It was one on the map. Now I don't even remember. And there's no map around. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever it is, gotta walk through it. Back to the front of the park. Let's keep going. Here's another mold omatic. And while the graphic has a picture of two rather adorable chimpanzees, I guess the actual figure apparently is a gorilla. but we're still going to get him. Not today. Next up is the giant Elons, but they're over here, catching a break from the midday sun in the shade of this rather large and lovely tree. But it's nice to see so many of them out and about. Oh, oh he's getting bored. I wonder what he's going to do next. I found two more Moldomatics. This one gives you a tiger, and the one next door gives you not a gorilla, but the uh, see no evil, hear no evil, and speak no evil. I have this, or I have had this at some point. I remember, I think I got it at Monkey Jungle. Wow. It's about an hour until closing, and I just came from Africa, and there's still the entire Asia section to go, which is not exactly small. So I am just debating on what to do. I'm not gonna cut it short. I think I'm going to finish Asia. I might have to come back and do the uh, ride at another time, which is fine. Maybe I can make a whole video out of that, we'll see. All right, off into Asia. Maybe I'll get something to drink first. Uh, it's been a while, kind of thirsty, and the sun is out today, as well, you can see in the background. It is a beautiful day, though. All right, into Asia. This loop will take me back by the entrance. That quick service is the one I saw earlier, the one where I turned left to go to what I thought was Asia, past Australia, but didn't find it. But this will take me all the way around and right to the exit. And by the time I get there, I think 
it will be close enough to uh, closing that I think I'm gonna call it a day after that but now I know how to plan my next venture here at Zoo Miami well here we are entering Asia it's uh, well it's beautiful let's see what animals they have we found the Indian gowers and they are over here hmm these are some big boys they are and here's some adax wait they are african I thought we were in asia oh well adax there they all are now some of the enclosures either don't have animals in them right now or they are in their uh um what do they call them the rest house uh, sleeping or something so I'm not showing you those because there's nothing really to see maybe they'll be out next time I hope at least just looked at another map and I think I have about a third of the way to go still in this one section only so by the time I get back I'm not gonna have time to do anything else because it will be time to leave Next up is a species from Asia, the Bactrian camel, and they've decided to come out and stand front and center just for you. Although they are looking in the other direction, so I don't know, don't take that personally. Here we have another African species, the Adra gazelle. Oh, they're in there, right there, little suckers. This is kind of interesting. They had a large ficus that Irma toppled over, also just like our big tree. Although they decided to simply trim it and leave it for the animals to play in. Uh, these are hyenas in there. Unlike me, which saw it as an excellent opportunity to get rid of a rather large and unruly tree that, well, honestly, we really didn't like. Well, at least it worked out for them. That's good. Now we have the African painted dog and you can see one he's way back there oh there he comes oh boy cool and if that's him well got an old injury that's why he's limping so it's okay hey make up your mind you're just like barty another moldomatic this one gives you a lion aha so the picture and the figure match here that's good so that's one two three four five we found i'm sure there's more but on that special mission i'm sure we'll find and catch them all now these guys are kind of hidden but i'm glad i found the asian small clawed otters because they are out and playing right now one and there's his friend <laughs> Looking for something. And still in Africa for the Somali wild ass who is right there. Looks like he's having some dinner, eating uh, whatever they put in there. I found the Asian trail. I wonder where this goes. Let's uh, take a walk in here and see what uh, we might find. I don't know if there's any exhibits back here. There's a table over there. Maybe this just loops around. I wonder if uh, it's Asian because of the vegetation or there's uh, some decorations or well not really decorations um kind of artifacts or set pieces I guess uh, decorations probably just as good as any other description okay well this is nice I don't really see anything that makes it particularly Asian but it's a nice little walk through Oh, well, there's a table, at least. That's nice. And, oh, the monorail. 
Well, okay. Well, that was the Asian Trail. And yeah, I guess we found the other entrance right here. Okay. That was fun. Very good to know. The water fountain stations, or at least uh, some of them, or this one at least, has a bottle filler. That's pretty awesome. Something you don't even find in Orlando. I don't know if it's because we're nearing the end or this is the first thing you're supposed to see, but here we are finally at the African lion. And there they are over there behind their little tree. Enjoying the shade. And in this moldomatic we get the rhinosaur. Rhinosaurus. Rhinosaurus? Rhinoceros. Yeah. Wow. Rhinoceros. And in addition to the wax rhinoceros, they have real rhinoceros. You can see him right there in the pool. Maybe, ooh, maybe he's going to walk out now. I guess not. Okay. Yeah, he's sitting down. It's hot. There he goes. Bye. Now that I'm on the mailing list, I'm hoping to hear more about the events that they have here at the zoo, and they do have a lot of them. Some of them are pretty interesting. I, um, I, I, I remember a few that I wanted to go to. I probably was traveling, you know, when I had to do that a lot, so I could never make it, but now I'm hoping that, you know, I, they'll, they'll keep me up to date, and maybe there'll be some member-exclusive events that will be fun to come and uh, show you. Looking forward to that. Don't know <laughs> when the next one might be, but I'll keep my eye out. How exciting! I found the Asian elephants and they are right here. Looks like it's dinner time. He's uh, got something. Wait, oh, oh, that's awful clever. He's got it wedged in between his trunk and his tusk and just grabs a little and uh, eats it. Huh. See? Elephants are always smarter. I found this really interesting sculpture that kind of looks like a whale, but it also kind of looks like a jail because it has these locked doors on it. I wonder what they use this for. They don't really have much marine life here. Kind of an odd thing to have in the middle of a zoo. Here we are at the Carousel Cafe, which is closing now. The menu was uh, just normal park food. I think they had uh, burgers, uh, chicken fingers, a hot dog, and normal stuff like that. Across was uh, Miami Ice, which is where they sell Slurpees, but she was just locking the door as I walked up. And I, I didn't want to like delay her closing and everything like that. So I guess that is my cue to really just head for the exit. I'm actually pretty excited to come back and um, ride the ride and do a few things. Definitely ride the monorail. Still have to ask about that, uh, if it can be added to your pass. I'm not doing the aviary, which is directly ahead, because uh, that very often doesn't work out for me. Um, I will walk in here, but not actually through the aviary. Quick check on the map. Well, that's where I am. Whoop, let's do that. Well, that's where I am, and I gotta go all the way around there to the exit of the park. And uh, that's where I'm headed because I'm tired. And let me tell you, I did not really realize like how, I don't want to say exhausting, but how tiring it is just walking around uh, <laughs> uh, this park because it is big. I mean, there's a lot of walking and I didn't hit all the park. There was that whole section I just walked right by, you know, without even noticing it. So next time, you know, got to get here early and maybe only do half the park one day and then come back and do it again because um, if you try to see the whole thing, I mean, you're just going to be like running, you know, uh, running the whole ring, which is why those Surreys make a lot of sense. Probably will come back one day, get one of those just for myself and tool about all day. It's only like 40 bucks, so pretty good deal. That'll be fun, even though I think I said that. All right, I'm passing the tiger exhibit once again, which means the exit is straight ahead and it's time to leave, which is fine because I am unusually tired. 
for having just walked around. I think it's just because it's a long walk and uh, some parts really aren't shaded and there aren't any opportunities really to sit down and enjoy some air conditioning for a while. Okay, I did get one character shot with Kaz the Rhino. I don't think they have a pass holder photo program, which is too bad. Uh, maybe next time when I take a, a picture at the entrance, I'll mention it to them, something for them to consider. But hey, I got the picture. And this is what it looks like. Let's check out the gift shop real quick. Well, they have some love merchandise featuring everyone's favorite flamingo. When I got the shirt that I'm wearing, you know, it's uh, branded Bush Garden, so I thought it might be like a property of SeaWorld, but here it is at Zoo Miami. I think uh, maybe next time I'll pick one up. Uh, just gonna check things out this time. It's late. I wanna go home because I'm hot too. I really like this shirt. Zoo Miami since 1980. Well, like I said, way back when it was called Metro Zoo. Well, perfect timing. Uh, out of time in the park and out of time on the battery. So before it dies completely because the screen is at a very, very low level, so I can't actually see it. I don't even know if I'm recording this. I will say it was a super fun day here at Zoo Miami. Glad I got that annual pass. Looking forward to coming back just to see it and for some of those special events. But now I uh, gotta head to the car, head home. So I'll just remind you, be proud of where you're from and love where you are.